40 students in here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> comments, like Hi, everybody. We are live. We are right now in the Cleveland Metro Parks Nature Tracks Mobile, right? That's the name? Okay, okay. Thanks for joining. We are at the Cleveland Metro Parks Nature Tracks Mobile, and this is an awesome, awesome resource for the community. We're here at the Union Miles Connecting Communities Festival, Ward 2, Cleveland, Ohio. This is a great family event. And I uh, just wanted to scope real quick and show all the great things that are out here what's happening, how you can have a great time, and here's one of my little ones, my littlest one. Hi, thanks for joining. We're enjoying this great family event today, and I'm going to share with you. Wow, check this out. Check out the Nature Tracks Mobile. Really, really nice. Great for the children to enjoy. Experiential learning exhibits. It's fun, right? Really, really nice. Thanks for joining. We are at the Union Miles Connecting Communities Festival for two in Cleveland, Ohio. And this, what you're looking at right now, is the Cleveland Metro Parks. <laughs> the Cleveland Metro Parks Nature Track Mobile. And she actually has a whole box with the face, the glass eyes, the, the paws. So you want to give us the intro to the mobile? <laughs> you all are live on Periscope worldwide. How about that? <laughs> um, well, I mean, this is our mobile classroom. We take it out and we try to help eliminate people's apprehension of getting out into the metro parks. Um, so right now we're getting ready to go into our school year. So we're going to be going to, what, two schools a day? And, oh, wow. Yeah, two schools a day, three classes per school roundabout, and we just basically teach people about their very neighbors in the metro parks. And sometimes it's one school all day long, and we basically focus on grades, um, first grade through fifth grade. We're actually developing a curriculum right now so that we are in line with the common core. Okay. okay. But we, serve, well, we service the community of Greater Cleveland, and and on occasion, the outer suburbs, suburbs, we really want to focus on um, Greater Cleveland in the inner city. Because like my colleague said, we want to ease um, children and adults apprehension and fears of the outside world and of nature. Nature is everywhere, so we might as well learn about it. And so we provide an environment that's safe and that is fun, and the kids get to learn, and we have a good time doing it. Yeah, it looks like it. This is awesome. Now, how long has the mobile been in existence? Oh, that's a fun one. So, I want this one. Take so, it, it started it in 1976 with the Nature Mobile, which was just a big, well, not even a big RV. It was a small RV. And it started, that one ran from 76 to 92. And then we had our, our second vehicle, which was officially Nature Tracks. That one ran from 92 until just this year, actually. So the vehicle that we're in now, we just got back in March. Oh, nice. Yeah, so this is a brand new vehicle. Wonderful, wonderful. And what are some of the, uh, I, I heard you mention grant funding. Mm -hmm. uh, what are some of the uh, more most generous foundation support that you've got? They're here? actually back here. We have our flag back here with our donors. Okay. <laughs> So this is our list of our donors. These are all the people that have helped support Nature Tracks. Awesome. I see some familiar uh, names. This is great. Because you see some of those names pop up in Cleveland over and over again. And they, they really support the Metro Parks. And a lot of people don't realize that Nature Tracks have been around for a very long time. And um, so we want to continue to honor the tradition of supporting our mission. Our mission is to bring the parks to the people. Nature Tracks was originally created to service um, communities where the Metro Parks may have been nearby because the Metro Parks was first created to have an accessible green space. And we have that now. However, it's sometimes still a hard thing for um, certain communities to um, segment. accessing the, um, the nature centers that we have. They're fantastic nature centers. 
around and but it's hard getting there and so the survey was conducted the answers came back and the nature mobile and mobile outreach as we know it now called nature tracks was created and so with us being on wheels and as long as the bridge has proper clearance we can pretty much go anywhere in Cleveland that we want to and, and that's what we do and that's how we bring the parks to you. Awesome, that's wonderful, wonderful. So this looks like a great resource for children to seem to be enjoying it <laughs> immensely. And it's really nice to have these nice replicas here. This is pretty, this oh, is no, pretty these are real. Oh, those are real. Those are real. They're taxidermy. Yeah. Okay. Anything that you see with bird or feathers is real. We have taxidermists. Um, we usually get them, well, not usually. Always get animals that have died of natural causes. So either, you know, sadly they've been in an accident, they've gotten sick, or they've died of old age. But all of the animals we've gotten have died without human intervention. Okay, I, I like I like that phraseology there. Without human intervention. Yes. Okay. okay. Wonderful. So one of our sisters is here. From the community is to make sure that you know, we get. It's the story of a tree. Okay. That's your daughter. Yes. She was very funny. Oh yes. Oh wow. She's only five. Yes, she's five. She'll be she'll be six uh, September third. She'll be six. Yeah, yeah. And this is my son right here. This is my son. And their playmate is my granddaughter. Oh, wonderful. Okay, wonderful. Yeah. Okay, okay. She's a big girl. Yeah, and this is my my newest addition here. <laughs> we are here uh, about to wrap up the Union Miles uh, Connecting Communities War II Family Festival. There were live performances today, and uh, yeah, Mickey Howard sang. I mean, it was a great, great family event. And uh, so we will uh, be scoping again soon. This is actually, we're coming to the conclusion of Black Breastfeeding Week. Um, for those of you who uh, saw my previous scope, um, this is Black, the third year of Black Breastfeeding Week. So we are celebrating all black women who contribute to the health of their families uh, by uh, breastfeeding and those who love and support them and advocate for them. So um, the last day of Black Breastfeeding Week is this Monday, the 31st. And so I will be scoping probably uh, tomorrow. If not uh, tomorrow, it'll be Monday uh, on the last day and uh, to share some more breastfeeding tips and why it's so important to consider breastfeeding. All right, thanks for joining everybody. I really appreciate it. Send me some hearts, uh, share the replay, and uh, I'll see you soon.